I always admired Megan for knowing exactly what she wanted and not really wasting her time when it came to dating every guy who was interested in her. And let's be honest, that was almost every guy that she knew, including most of Claire and I's friends. About three and a half years ago, I met Chase for the first time. I couldn't ask for a better, better brother-in-law, and I'm so excited that Chase is officially a part of our family. Chase has proved to be a caring, generous person by not only being there for Megan, but also being there for our entire family. There have been times that Chase has gone above and beyond to help me out in one way or another. Chase, I've known her since she was a little sweet girl, and now she's a beautiful young woman. I speak for those of us who know you a little bit, and we're so glad she got you, and uh, you get her. Marriage is difficult, you know that, but it's not complicated. It's not. The key to marriage is very simple. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Contained in that one statement is really the key. That there is a mutual submission that takes place. That when you have two people trying to outserve one another for the benefit of the other, there is a reciprocity that happens of respect and affection that is really impressive to watch. And uh, that's your calling. You're to model Christ's love for His church and His church's love for Him. In that relationship, you're the servant leader. The groom dies for the bride. That's what you're agreeing to today, because that's what Jesus did. There's not a man alive who doesn't want his wife to respect him. And actually, we don't need love as much as we need respect. And as he in any way demonstrates Christ in the smallest ways in your home, you know, reciprocate that back with the respect that as a man, he really does desire. Your marriage is about to begin with a promise. This promise is your certainty in a world of uncertainty. That's what it is. It transcends utility and beauty and handsomeness. It transcends that because love is not a feeling. It's a choice. The feeling of love is the fruit of the commitment you're about to make, not the root of it. The root of it is before God and these people right now, you're making a promise. You know what love is? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is, is, does not envy, does not boast, not proud, is not rude, is not self-seeking. Love does not delight in evil, rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Although there's no such thing as the perfect relationship, I definitely believe that sometimes people are lucky enough to find their perfect match in another person. This cannot be truer for Chase and Megan. While they have some differences, they share, they share very similar values and hopes for their future. I've been so excited to share this special day with them, and I'm even more excited to watch their relationship and family grow in the future.
congratulations to two of my favorite people. I love you both, and I'm so happy for you.